Hello balloon artists. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely Easter Bunny balloon display. Take two five inch rounds, I'm using lime green and inflate to three and a half inches. So that's two strokes of the Politex tampon. Okay, and then just put a twist in there and inflate your other five inch round. round off slightly by pressing against you and tie together. Take your two duplets and just twist them together to form a cluster of four. Take another five inch round and inflate to three inches. So that's just one stroke of the hand pump. Okay, just hang on to that whilst we inflate the next one. And if you don't have lime green, don't worry. Uh, just use whatever green you've got. Um, we're this base is not going to be seen particularly, so don't worry about it, okay? And make another one of these, and then bring the two together and twist to form a cluster of four. So take your two clusters together, and you want to position the smaller one on top of the larger one, so that the two larger bubbles are here, and you've got one smaller one bubble from the top layer just in between the two. So you've got two and one, two and just one, okay? And then take one of the necks from one of the uh, clusters and just bring it through and just figure of eight around the clusters, okay? And that connects them all together, okay? So you've got two and one two and one, two and one, okay? Take a sand weight and just pull that into the base. Sand or water weight, whatever you use for to weight your designs. Take a 646 in white, 10 inches or so. Just tie that off. Okay, and Take this and wrap it into your base. Next, take a couple of 350s and inflate to a tail of perhaps three fingers or so. We've got another one of these. Take a bubble of about three fingers in that one. Just hang on to it and Soften this one and make a bubble of about three fingers in this one. The white um, 646 and we're just going to wrap this one in here. Kind of tricky to show. Okay, and then just pass that bubble through the middle. Okay, so that secures everything in position. And then you're aiming to get two bubbles here that are about the same sort of size. So, twist off one there. And then wrap that around. Okay, and then with your bubble here, just push that underneath and around and then push the, these bubbles so that they're at the bottom and twist off a small bubble of about two fingers or so and do the same thing on this side so we're doing a flat weave basically and a small bubble of a couple of fingers here And then just slightly bigger than this one. So I can wrap what I've got in there. And I'm just going to snip off the end. And then tie that here. Okay. And then we want a bubble, the same sort of size. So we can just measure one against the other, bring that round the back, wrap that in, and then again snip off the end, and 
tie that in. These two bubbles here, we can just soften them slightly. If you've made a soft knot when you tied that balloon, so if you didn't pull it too tightly, you can just grasp hold of that knot and roll it down towards the nozzle. That's going to soften it and make it easier for you to pinch twist that bubble. So just pinch twist that. Next, I'm using a 260 in white. So I'm going to inflate to a tip of oops, about one finger. I'm just going to let a little bit of air out as well and soften it. So about a one finger tip. And then I want to um, deflate the first three, four inches. I want a good stretch of it here. I'm also going to soften this again slightly and then tie. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the tip here, pinch the air out, and then put a twist in that tip, and then tie that directly in here. Okay, and then take the balloon, split it in half and twist, okay? So all you're doing is you're just rotating either top, the top or the bottom um, bubble here and that just splits the balloon, okay? And then just bring these two together and just twist together and then pass one through the other. These are going to be our bunny's ears, so I like to give a bit of shaping. I just hold them together and just with the warmth of my hands, I'm just kind of massaging and pushing that balloon down just to give a bit of shaping. So I really like making bunnies. <laughs> They're one of my favorite animals to make. So I've got lots and lots of bunny designs. So if you want to, Check out my bunny designs. I fully inflate and then let some of the air out. Okay. And I just like to eyeball this. So we're probably about six to seven inches there, I would guess. Uh, but I like to make sure that um, before I tie off, but that balloon is really nice and squishy and it's going to do what I want it to do. So I've not even tied off yet, but I'm still testing that, you know, the balloon will do what I want it to do. Okay, so at this point I tie and I tie a soft knot, which means I don't pull it tightly. And at this point, because I've not pulled a knot tightly, I can just roll that knot along the neck towards the nozzle. Okay. First of all, you want to squeeze the air into your 11 inch, whoops, and then put that no the nozzles together. And then with your forefinger or your middle finger, push down into the base of the balloon. And we're aiming for that little bit of latex here that looks a little bit thicker. Uh, there's usually a patch here um, that looks a bit darker, a bit thicker, and that's where you're aiming for. So just push the two nozzles through. And when you can feel them with your other hand, grab hold of them and remove your other hand, hang on to everything and twist. So just put a twist there, hold on. Take a little bit of scrap and wrap around this side of the knot and nozzle that you're holding. Okay, so just wrap around a few times and tie. Okay, so once you've tied once, I like to tie a second time. Okay. So next we can put a twist into this balloon here and we can snip off the end. Okay. So I've not tied and I'm going to take the tails here from the 160 and I'm going to use both these tails to tie directly onto the body. 
And the reason I do it this way is because the when you're tying the knots into the um, 646, they can be quite bulky. So if I can stay the knot at the neck of the 646, then it's worth doing because you just reduce the amount of bulk at the neck. Okay, so pull those together and then I'm going to trim off uh, all the excess. So to begin with, I'm using a Sharpie brush point and these are really quite tricky to get hold of here in the UK. Um, what I do is I'm drawing a big circle the eyes and I like to space them quite far apart. And then fill in. And you, you can hang on to the neck here just to keep everything um, firm whilst you're drawing. So I'm using a Sharpie fine point. This is, well, it looks like a sort of a wild berry colour. And I draw a little circle here and another little circle next to it, the same size or as close as possible. Okay, and then I join them with a little V and I just fill that in. I just, from the point of the nose, I just do a little smile and then three little whiskers. Same thing on the other side. Oops, that one's not quite circular. Okay. I'm going to need a 260 white. I'm going to create the rabbit's arms. So inflate to a tail of, I don't know, three fingers or so, something like that. And just let out this little bit of air to soften. To make a little loop, a little flower petal loop, of perhaps about four fingers or so. So I'm just going to twist that. And what I like to do when I've made these loops is I just take hold of the nozzle and the knot and pass it through that loop. Okay, so that just makes sure that that's not going to come undone, makes it much harder. And then make another little loop like this. So you might want to just Soften your balloon a little bit. So make another three to four finger bubble uh, loop and just twist those around. And then I also like to take that knot and nozzle again and pass it through that second loop just to secure that in position. Okay. Our little buddy's hands and arms. And I will just stand back. So I'm just draping them around the back here and wrapping those in, just slipping off the end here. Leave this um, little bit of slack here because we're probably going to want to use this as a later point. If we don't, we'll cut it off later. But as I said, I like to give myself options and if I need that, it's still there and I, I can use it for something. And next, I'm going to be using a couple of um, Spring Lilac 260s. Okay, um, we're going to fully um, inflate these. Just let a little bit of air out and then I'm going to tie the two 260s directly together. So what I do when I need to do this, I just put a twist in the balloon and I just kind of hang on to it. So I'll, with my finger I've just got that neck trapped under there and that's going to keep the air in there whilst I inflate the next one. I'm going to tie these two directly together. Okay. And I want these to be about the same length. Just cup the two sixties together in your hand and just spiral round. Okay. So, and we're, we're aiming for a, a sort of a fairly tight spiral. Okay, 
and then when you get to the end, okay, just twist these together. Okay, pretty much fully inflated, I'm using yellow. Okay, it's going to soften that slightly in time. Okay, and then what I like to do with these, I'm actually just going to put a twist here. Okay, so I'm just pinching off a couple of bubbles here. And then instead of having to pinch, twist these bubbles separately, I'm just going to take the knot and nozzle here and just wrap it between those two bubbles. Okay, you can do it with the other knot as well. And that's just going to pinch twist those bubbles. So that's kind of a, the cheats way of <laughs> pinch twisting. Okay. And then take the tip of your uh, 160, take the knot and nozzle, and just wrap it into those two pinch twists there. Okay? And then just trace where you've got these two, um, two fixes spiraling round. Just follow that line. I'm just going to wrap that around a little bit more. Just follow that line around with your 160, okay, and then just get the bubbles at the end and just wrap them all round, and then just wrap that in to these, oops, two pinch twists here, that's my nozzle, there you go, wrap that in again, and then where we've got the two 260s together here, just position that and follow that around. Okay, we get to the end and we can just wrap everything in. We've got a nice big um, handle for our basket. Okay, and so with these bubbles, I just want to pass these bubbles underneath this three fifty here. Okay, and pull them through. Okay, that bubble there, and pass it in. And that around. So what I'm going to do here is just wrap around between these um, two 350s. I'm going to use the tip end here and have that for the tail. So I'm just going to put a little twist in here. And then with this um, balloon, I'm going to make uh, a, a bow. So I'll perhaps about a, a hand stamp, a twist. So that's perhaps about three inches or so and take the knot and nozzle and pass it through and then give your balloon a squeeze and make another loop to match, okay? So just twist up a small bubble of a finger or so and then just fold your balloon over, grab hold of that bubble, pull it upwards and twist it around and that will pinch twist that for you. And then we can wrap this in here. So I'm just taking that join there and wrapping it in to the bow and into that pinch twist. We want to twist off a bubble to match this one, give ourselves a little tail for our bow. And then just snip off the end and tie. Just pass that tip through um, between the rabbit's body and the lilac uh, 350 down into the bottom and wrap it into the base. Okay, so we just need a bit of downward pressure. 
to keep everything stable. So I'm just going to wrap that round. To firm up our design is to push the design down over that first layer of green five inch rounds. Okay, so if you can't see them very much, you can just see this bottom layer. Take a scrap of 260 and make a raisin. And by that, I mean, just tie a couple of knots at the same point on that 260. Okay, and then with your scissors, just trim off either side of that knot. Okay, and then put that inside one of your five inch rounds. The other thing is if you haven't got printed five inch rounds, just use plain ones and draw on them. So, you know, you can, you can come up with your own designs. Okay, that was four strokes of the hand pump. So I want that Easter egg shape. Uh, I'm just going to let a little bit of air out there because I want to be able to pinch hold of that uh, knot, that um, raisin in the bottom, and then just tie a soft knot, okay? And then pinch hold of the raisin. Now I want it, I can't get hold of it. <laughs> it's always the way. And I'm just going to roll that slightly um, up just to give myself a bit more room. Give that a twist. And then take a 160, wrap that around the bottom and tie. Okay. And then once you've tied once, tie a second time. I'm just going to trim off these nozzles these tails to pull into the design. We're going to go around the 260 here. Pull that in there. Try and grab hold of that raisin there. Put a twist in. You don't have to grab the raisin at the base. It's easier to create your attachment point on the side. Bring that 160 under the 160. And I just pick, pick one of the colours and apply a little. Circle of blushing. 